Hey, Justin Chamnus here, realestatewholesalersclub.com. And today I want to talk about a two letter word. It's not a four letter word. So you, it's okay. You can say it. it it's, it's all right if you want to go ahead and say it with me. Let's practice it. No. You're going to struggle to reach your full potential if you don't learn how to say no. There's going to be constant demands for your time. There's always going to be something or someone who needs you to do something or wants you to do something or expects it to be done whether you should have done it or not. So in order to say no properly, you're going to have to first know what your values are. Otherwise, you're going to risk saying yes to every opportunity that comes down the lane. Learn to evaluate opportunities. Do they find themselves congruent with my current goals? Remember, your values and goals should dictate most of your decisions. This may mean you're going to have to stop going out on the weekends if you want to start a successful side business. This may also mean stop drinking alcohol right after dinner if you know you need to be working on your part-time profits. But it also means stop apologizing for the way that you choose to use your time. Nobody has the right to request your time without you giving them the permission to do so. That's a selfish thing of them to do. When you're giving up a chunk of time, you're giving up a chunk of your life. So instead of making yes the default answer, make no the default answer. Accept requests only when you have a good reason for doing so. This is also self-respect. You're going to have to become ruthless in how you manage your time. Don't be a doormat. Set priorities and learn how to say no most of the time. I'm not suggesting that you not spend time helping other people. I'm suggesting that you spend your time helping other people in the way that you've deemed most efficient and effective. This way you'll be more likely to achieve your goals. So here's your exercise. If you could say no without feeling the shame, the guilt, and all the pressure from other people, what's the one thing in your life that you wish you had the balls to say no to today? Tomorrow, I'm going to visit with you about setting clear rules and boundaries for yourself. Real Estate Wholesalers Club is here to help you as we help each other each and every day achieve our goals in real estate. I'm Justin, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.